Has Freddie Kitchens done enough to keep his job? Well, it's really going to come down to these last four games of the season. Obviously, they have greatly uh, not lived up to expectations. And so right now, it's not looking very good for Freddie when you have the amount of talent that they have on offense to have a quarterback like Baker Mayfield regress and not be able to score points the way they have struggled to score points this season, it's not a good look. And obviously, I think they really have to finish this season strong and put together a case for Freddie Kitchens that says, you know what, I made a lot of mistakes in my first year as a head coach, but I was able to improve in the last quarter of the season, and they can see that he's headed in the right direction as a head coach. If he's not able to do that, it's going to be a tough sell for him to uh, the Haslam's to bring it back. I look at a couple of situations here, Joe, like Dallas. Dallas is in that great position. You feel like a better coach, a different coach comes in. That's a Super Bowl. That's, you have Super Bowl talent on that team. Cleveland has this window of opportunity with two good running backs. you got young talent on the defensive side of the ball. Line could be better. You have a, a, a young quarterback and you have some talented wide receivers. You don't want to miss this opportunity because you don't know when it'll happen again. And I see the Browns and Cowboys, their ownership, probably looking at this the same way and saying, you know, we need to bring it. We don't have the right person in in either one of these jobs. What do you think? You're, you're exactly right. That's why the pressure is so high right now in the Haslam's to be able to get the coaching position correct right now. And that's why these last four games are so crucial because like you mentioned right now, they've got Baker on the rookie deal. They've got incredible talent for a lot of different reasons that you mentioned specifically at the running back position, being able to get Kareem hunt really cheap because of what happened with his situation. And then having Nick Chubb on a rookie deal. I mean, they're full of young talent, which is great because they were able to get all these good players under the salary cap. But that only lasts for so long. Yeah. When these guys come up for free agency, you're going to have to pay them. And a lot of those names aren't going to be on the team. So this is definitely their window if they want to make that run. What was your reaction to Freddie Kitchens wearing the Pittsburgh starter at T-shirt? Well, I think just like most people that looked at that, it was a bad look in uh, uh, 10 days removed almost from one of the ugliest on-field incidents that we've seen in recent memory in the NFL to kind of make light of a situation like that and potentially throw some fuel on the fire for the Steelers game. I just think it was unnecessary. And as a head coach, I think it's important for you to understand the gravity of even the smallest details when you're in that position of responsibility, you know, Freddie's a first time head coach. He, his first time as an offensive coordinator was last season. And until that position, he was a tight ends and a running backs coach and doing stuff like that doesn't really move the needle. But when you're in that head coaching position, I think just understanding the gravity of every little thing that you do and every move you make is important when you're a head coach. And it was just a bad look. For more Dan Patrick show, tune into audience channel 239 on direct TV stream for free on BR live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.